Have you ever thought about how dangerous Minecraft is? What do you mean dangerous? Do you have eyes, Bert? Creepers, skeletons, zombies, endermen, witches, and the list goes on and on. Well, what's your point? We need to prepare for your baby. What, like baby proofing? Yes, we need to make this world safe for your baby. We could just build a foam pit and put the baby in there. Now that's a dumb idea. Oh. But we could build a park and leave your baby unintended for hours upon hours because the park will take care of it, right? What is up everyone, Mr. Raviator here bringing you another episode of Newlyweds Modded and here today with Burkasm and we're gonna hey, be me. prepping for his baby. I need baby stuff. Now, most of you are probably wondering where is Afmile and Ashley? Well, they're at the hospital getting ready to deliver the baby. So what they're we helping, gotta do- Ashley's up and just poop. Just baby. pooping everywhere as she's trying to poop out the baby. Oh. Just, oh. Ah, you know, actually, it's true, women do poop when they're Oh, they do. Yeah. Also, their their area where the baby comes out rips. Very commonly. Ew. Ew. Oh, God. God, why don't you forsake me? I don't know if I should talk about the word because National Geographic might get all angry. They'll be like National Geographic. I don't want to be too graphic. Yeah. I don't want that. I don't want it. I once saw my aunt have a baby. What? Why were you saw your aunt I didn't see her have a baby, but I went in right like right after. And there was poop everywhere. Did you see her hoo hoo? No. Well, that's good. At least there was no hoo hoo seeing. Yeah, I was happy not to see that. Is but... this the same aunt that just had another baby? No. Okay. It's my uncle's wife that you oh. like. <laughs> Is it the one that's really funny, uncle? Uh, it's Mark's wife. Oh, oh, you saw her have a baby? I saw her afterwards, and there's poop everywhere. Oh, I bet it stunk like poop in there. It smelled like poop. It smelled oh, like poop. Like lady poop? Like poop. <laughs> like diarrhea. Like what do you think she just ate? Like, what do you think she just eaten? Oh, probably yogurt. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, yogurt leaves nasty, stinky poops. There was a ton of poop, that's for sure. What I'm going to do uh, now is do an outer edge so the kid can't fall into the water and drown. Now, this is a really safe place to build a park because... You know, oh, predators love, can only look, come from one area. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, this is fun. As we just sit back and be like, mm. <laughs> Well, Die. do I need to get him? Do I really need to get so him? So my right house, now? my house is being turned, or my old house is being renovated into a park. I hope I get some sort of payment for this. Well, you destroyed your old house. <laughs> yes, but I still own the property. Well, this is your child's uh, property. Oh, now no. he's claimed it or she you never know who knows yes, really it could be an alien oh, ah. actually you guys if you're watching this episode right now comment down below who you'd like to see be Bert's baby my baby comment down below right now do it we're watching we're watching oh wow look at that oh look at that suggestion Bert. wow oh. that is oh wow oh, oh I don't oh, want good to be job. my baby <laughs> okay that so that cannot be my baby now Bert how will we build? What will you, What do you want in this playground? I know a slide. I want a really tall jumping slide. A where you have to jump slide. to your death. I mean, to the the pit of water down below. Now that seems just kooky, if you ask me. Um, pay child support if the child's dead. <laughs> Yay, dad! Dad, dead, dad. dad. <laughs> Love me as much as my dad. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'll build a slide. I'll build a slide and you can build one other thing. So I'm going to go like this. As you get to build the simple thing. Slides are so easy. Hey, slides are difficult when you build it as good as I do. Okay. That makes no sense. Oh, you're making it round or curved. I'm curving it. God, you are such a show off. Cause that way the kid can have extra fun. I like fun that's extra. All right, what can I build? You can't really make swings. Oh, I could make. I don't. Let me just try this. This might not work. I'm gonna have to find out. Dun, dun. Okay, so I'm gonna need. I need some powered rails. Wait, and actually, I'm gonna need a line cart. I'm gonna destroy this and that and. Ooh. And that. Okay, give me this. Oh, give, me, give me this. Oh, what are they called? Oh, redstone torch. 
And there we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is build a way up to the slide. So all you need is this. <laughs> and this is kind of an ugly slide, but it's a slide. Hey, you know the cat, the cat, the kid's not gonna care. Well, he'll the care. Cad. He'll care so much. Oh, you think he'll care? Then you need so a. So my kid's gonna be like a snotty McSnotty. Yeah, everyone will hate him usually. Oh no, not my son. <laughs> my son will be the joy of the world. Or daughter. Joy to daughter of the world. My daughter will be the the joy of the world. Here we go. This is my. I think my kid will love it. I'm gonna throw up if I don't get out of this. How do I get out? You can't. Oh, you can no. never leave. I, out. I was actually getting dizzy. Okay, so this is one of those poles you can climb. Those, those fireman poles. That sounds painful. Can you put a ladder Splinters. on this, Bert? Can you put some ladders on this? I can put ladders? some ladders on this. Let me make them real quick. Okay, so let's see. What I need actually is probably to destroy one of these because it's a little too tall. Most kids wouldn't be able to make this climb. Boom. Look, Dad! Whee! Dude, you're died. making a pole out of wood. Can you imagine the splinters in the children's hand? <laughs> Are you trying to kill my son? They shouldn't slide down the pole. That's the rule. No, they should. Think of all oh, the slivers. It's a oh, climbing which, pole. Did you ever get a sliver growing up? Oh, God, yeah. Now, you know there's a difference between a splinter and a sliver, right? I got a really big sliver once, and I was at a friend's Ooh. house where his parents... It was under my fingernail. His parents ah! insisted on tweezing it out. And no! they stuck a metal tweezers under my fingernail and slowly ah! pull it out. <laughs> it hurts so bad. Throw up. I will never forget that as long as I shall be booty. Oh, that's like, I, I, I'm pretty sure that's how they used to torture people back in Vietnam. It was torture. I really cried. I was running like, oh, no. And then they oh, there's blood everywhere. They're like, I'll oh, save you. There. I put it in the wrong area. And then I killed her. Oh, I would have. Like, what? Die. <laughs> what? Biscuit. Biscuit and gravy lady. Biscuits and gravy. <laughs> yeah. Right now. Okay. I I do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, there. Now it's. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. No. Oh, uh, you know what? Actually, this doesn't need to be like this. For everyone. What the hell are you trying to <laughs> think? You've been listening to a lot of Christmas music. I have been. That's the only thing I've been listening to on my car radio lately. All there is on good. the radio. We got 96.5 down here, and that's all it is. It's just like, oh, Christmas. And it's not all that good Christmas music. It's kind of some crappy, jazzy music sometimes. I'm like, I want to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, ours is... Well, I have Sirius Satellite, so they're like... Oh, yeah, I forgot. They're like, we'll play the good you stuff. Have, you have the money to have Sirius <laughs> Satellite. I got it free for six months. I, on the other hand, do not have that. But when it ever happens, I'll let you know because oh, I'm gonna, dude, I wouldn't even need to listen to the radio. I'd be listening to like comedies and stuff. Well, I don't because that gets extremely boring. I like boring. But how does this look? Look now, like we, I'm on a slide. <laughs> yeah. No, child, no! <laughs> oh, I actually don't care. The current is sucking them under. Him under. It's all to prove who's the ultimate child of them all. Survival see, of the fittest. If you can't get out of here, just die. Yeah, let's see. Let's see the current. Yeah, that would be a little freak out moment. I'll tell you that. Oh, much. I, oh man, if that was actually <laughs> a girl, I'd be throwing up. So scared. Like, ah, There's this bridge that we used to swim by as kids, and it the, it had a it was through a river, and it had tons of current where, where the pillars of the bridge were. And yeah. literally, it would get like 10 feet deep in the spring because all the snow melted. And it would be like a roaring river. And as soon as you got, it, you could be like, I don't know, like 20 feet up river. And it'll slowly start sucking you towards those poles. And then all of a sudden, it'll suck you under all like 10 feet and just spit you back out like 15 feet down the river. And we hey. used to do that for fun. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a joy ride. And one time I did it with uh, my stepsister on my back because she couldn't swim. And... Died. And she almost drowned me. 
Legitimately oh, I almost died. Her. I almost died. I could not get back up to the top because she was like panicking. Oh, those people. Those are the kind of people that kill people when they actually go out there and try to rescue them. And they're like, oh, them to death. Oh, <laughs> help me, help me, help me. And it's just like, you're killing us both. Yeah, if I die, you're done. You're already in trouble. I'm the only one that can person, save us. Basically, it's the kind of person that's like, if I die, you're coming with me. Yeah, she was like so afraid to get her head under the water, and basically, I would have drowned and she would have been dead too. <laughs> I dragged her limp body out of there. And then my dad out. always jumped off the top of the bridge. And oh, one of his friends died because they hit a rock. Oh! <laughs> so, poor dad, I could just see that. And then another one of his friends died because they skipped school and they jumped into the pond with their clothes on and he couldn't get back to the top with his work boots on. Oh, because they were full with water, I guess? Yeah, all of his whole uh -oh. body was soaked and he couldn't get back to the top and he drowned. So your dad had two friends that drowned. Well, one got hit by a rock and exploded on impact. With the oh, other one. imagine just a big squirt of the head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was his head because they dove in and there was there is like a whole bunch of jagged rocks under that bridge. Oh, your dad's yeah. dumb. Like I in like April though, to... sometimes that it'll get as tall as where it's only three feet from the top of the bridge and the bridge is about 30 feet. So oh. the river will be that deep. But this guy, uh, the river was probably 15 feet at this point and when he dove, it just like <laughs> dead. Just imagine watching that, just a head blowing up. Basically, <laughs> I just I just imagine it exploding. Like, oh. And like that's Quentin why we're Tarantino making the park safe. <laughs> yes. I don't want to see my child explode. Yep, that's why we made this park. <laughs> like, hey, Daddy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to climb up this wooden ladder thing. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to the splinters. You can climb up this and be like, Dad, watch me. I'm going to hit the water. Watch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, son, you blew up. <laughs> All the yep. creepers are envious of your explosions. Yep. Oh, that was some skill. That was trick I shot. Know, right? I that know, was right? a trick shot. Uh, if I've ever seen one, Bert. Let's see if I can. I'm getting dizzy again. I'm gonna get out of this. Man, that's going too fast. I gotta try that now. I will do. Yeah, a I know, trick right? Shot. I'll do a 360 trick oh, shot. Oh, 360. Let's see this. Huh. Oh, <laughs> what a loser! Oh, that was hard. It is. I'm, I'm going to try. After you go, I'm going to try. Oh, I landed right on it, but I couldn't get in. Here we go. Here we go. Let's do it. Uh, 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 oh! Oh! I feel like that was a second effort click. That was a second effort. <laughs> yeah. That was like a second effort four click. Yeah, as you say, you see, like landed and I was like, boop. I was just like, eh. I was like, <laughs> oh, damn it. Go, stupid minecart. Go on with your day. Go on with your damn I day, minecart. You your existence. I hate you, minecart. No one likes you. No one likes you, minecart. No one likes you. He's all crying. Look at him. Just a big, big baby. Minecart. Circles. We love you, minecart. Oh, all right. I want to make out with you, minecart. Hey, did you see that new Ted trailer? No, there's a new Someone Ted trailer. Did. It's not complete, but I watched it. It looks like it's going to be a good movie. Oh, yeah. So That's not like... done yet. It was so hilarious. Like, you see a guy walking with a dead doll. And, oh, it was so hilarious. But, like, someone leaked it. So is it Mark really... Wahlberg in it? Yeah, Mark Wahlberg's oh, in it. Oh, yeah. They're all in it. Everyone. Uh, Morgan Freeman's in it. Oh, yeah. I like this. Well, I think this park is done. I think we're ready for your baby next Yay. episode. So you guys don't forget to comment down below who you'd like to see in the episode, who you'd like to see as the baby. And also, slap that like button if you enjoyed the episode. And until next time, take it easy. Live it squeezy.